Um, the way it came about was uh, former President Khatami, who's a relative of mine, um, after he uh, left office in 2006, he came to the United States at the invitation of a bunch of American groups, uh, was given a visa and um, went to Washington Cathedral, Harvard University, University of Virginia. He asked me to accompany him on his trip um, in America as sort of an advisor and help him with some of the issues and some of the translations of some of his speeches, which I did. And um, at one point in Chicago, before he gave his first speech, uh, he said, well, why don't you just do the interpreting of the speech? And I said, well, I'm not an interpreter. I, that's not what I do. And he said, oh, come on, your English is really good. You sound like an American. Just do it. It's not going to be a big deal. And I said, okay. So I did it. And it was, I guess, successful. People kind of liked the way it was done. Um, now, that said, I did have the speech in front of me translated into English, which I'd helped with in the translation. And then I just went on to do it at the Washington Cathedral and the University of Virginia. So the Ahmadinejad people found out about, obviously found out about um, my interpretation of uh, Khatami's speeches, and they asked me if I would, uh, specifically the ambassador to the UN, asked me if I would in do the interpreting at the UN for Ahmadinejad, who was arriving like literally a few, few days after Khatami left. And I said, well, under the same conditions that I, I agreed to do it with Khatami, even though I have a friendship and a closeness to Khatami, um, and he was no longer president of Iran, uh, I said the condition would be that I'm able to write about it, nothing's, on the, nothing's off the record, and to my surprise they agreed and said, fine, do whatever you want. Um, and so I thought it would be a great opportunity and it would be an interesting opportunity and I'd get to get to know, even though I'd met Ahmadinejad before, I would get a closer relationship with him and understand him better and his aides and the people he travels with. So that's really why I did it. And um, subsequently every year, even though I've written about my experiences, um, doesn't seem to bother them. And uh, every year they've asked me again and I've said, sure, I'm you know, happy to do it. And uh, so that's how that came about. It's not, it's not my profession, but uh, I don't mind doing it.